Hey, welcome back to another episode of The Basement, and today we are going to be reviewing the Dometic Hydration Jug, along with its counterpart with the Hydration Water Faucet. So full disclosure, uh, we are not affiliated to Dometic, we're not sponsored by them. I actually purchased this on my own, paid full retail for it because Dometic doesn't do discounts, uh, which is good for them. Anyways, it's the 11 liter hydration jug and this thing's pretty cool. Uh, I've used other stuff in the past. We've used like the, uh, not the Life Straw one, but there's another one um, that's similar to it. I've got like a, I think it's a five gallon or a 10 gallon, it's massive. It's great because it has a, you know, a drop in filter with it. Um, I'll put a screen or I'll put a shot of it up here on the screen, but uh, this one is a little more unique. Uh, the other one is a pump system. It works great. Uh, it's just big. Um, now for the longer trips, I found the other one to be really useful. It also comes with like a shower or spray attachment. Um, that was great to use, but this one, like just having, you know, if you're a minimalist or you like to save weight, like, you know, the Ram is great. I love it but it's heavy and if I can shed pounds anywhere, including myself, I do it, uh, still working on that. But this one, you know, 11 liters is a fair amount of water and you can also buy jugs at the store if you pass it and refill it. Um, it doesn't have a filtration system in this itself, uh, but it is BPA free, um, it's food grade. So, you know, you, as long as the water that goes into it is safe, uh, you know, and potable, you're gonna be able to use that on your own. Um, a couple things about it uh, that I like is the carry handles. This is awesome. Uh, I've got a little bit of water in here um, just so we can demonstrate it. I actually haven't used this yet, so we're gonna use it for the first time together. I've had it for months and it sat in my truck and I haven't had to use it. One, the last trip was negative uh, degrees. Uh, so this thing would have just been a block of ice. Um, even if I filled it up the full way, I'm sure it would have been okay, but I didn't wanna risk damaging it, even though they say that it's fine. Uh, I would rather find out in other ways. Um, plus we just really didn't need it. We didn't camp out. We were filming stuff with Rhino Rack and uh, this turned out to be, you know, turned out to not be needed. So we've got two ways to fill it. I mean, I guess you could fill it over on this side. It'd probably take you forever. Um, but this cap, it's pretty unique that it, it's got the cap itself, but then you've got a little drop in. So it's got a smaller, so if you want to use this just to pour it out, it has a little spigot there for it. Spigot. Uh, put that back on. And then this side here is basically works for this, which is the faucet system. And we'll go into that in just a second. But out of the gate, you know, it's small. It fits perfect in my drawer system. I dig it. Uh, as you can see, I even, I still have the packaging that's still on it. Um, this comes in at 99 bucks. I think that's a little bit much for what you're getting here. Um, and I'll go over price and all that combined uh, together, but there, there is a few things that's, that's a little quirky. Size, right? 11, I, they went 11 with it because I, they use the marketing that everybody else uses 10 liters instead of 11. Um, but except I don't know if that is that, if this fill line is complete, is that 11 liters there or is the full size 11 liters? That I don't know. And I haven't researched it on it, so bear with me on that one. So we'll move that to the side and now we'll get into the hydration water faucet. So this is the hydration water faucet also from Dometic and Earlier, I said that this jug came in at 99. It actually doesn't, it comes in at 69.99, so 70 bucks. This is the one that comes in at 100, so it's a little pricier than the, than the jug itself, and there's reasons for that. It's got electronics in it. Uh, there's some other stuff, there's just more to it. Uh, this comes in the box itself. It's a cool little carrying bag, and it is mesh so that if there's water, it's gonna drip off. Uh, it has the faucet itself. I've already installed the hose, which would be nice if this was longer. Um, and we'll go into the pros and cons at the end of this. Uh, it's got a little sticky tab here for the magnet, and then as well as another placement for the square style, and the magnet is actually on the bottom here. So you've got your little mounting plate, and then you can you know, hard mount it if you wanted to, to put it anywhere. Um, you, know, you can make it modular. I've just been keeping it on the bottom there. You've got your charging cable here, which is just a uh, micro USB. Um, I wish it was USB-C. Uh, maybe they wanna update that because those are kind of becoming extinct. 
And then you have the steel plate here, but square. So ideally you could have two uh, setups and I haven't, I haven't really, you know, made up my mind on what I want to do with it. We are actually going to be designing our own kitchen here soon, a, a portable camp kitchen that's going to be fully sustained inside of a box. I've, this actually the reason I bought this is because that's what I wanted to use it for, but I also thought it was cool. I saw it at Expo uh, Mountain West in Colorado. This box probably wouldn't fit into that, um, but the other ones that we've been seeing on the market have you going, you know, using a hose to a like a 20 gallon or a five gallon jug. I don't want to necessarily do that if we don't have to, but we're going to play with it. And those will be, you know, something you'll want to check out on our website soon, rogueelementfilms.net. Some ass won't give us the .com and I'm not going to pay for it. So um, this is scuffed up a little bit because it's been in the back of my truck, but this is a cool little unit. So I believe you can do 158 liters uh, on a single charge. Actually, 150 liters. I was close. Uh, it's a touch on it. So you do one touch and the light is supposed to come on, I believe. Oh, it just all comes on at once. Never mind. And I, I think there's another way around that. I don't recall. I'm still learning it, like I said. So yeah, you just press it twice. Boom, it's on, has the light on it, dispenses the water, and then you just touch to take it off. So uh, I haven't even played with it. I just put water in this thing for the first time. So let's, uh, let's try it out. So it's fairly simple here. You just click this right into the top there. We've got that. Uh, I've already got the hose setup system in here, so we're good to go. Let's try her out. Holy cow, look at that. We've got a winner. It's actually pretty cool. I'm done. Actually, I don't even need to tap that twice. You just tap it once, turn it off. That's money. I mean, that's easy. Because then the cool part is, is like, you know, say you've got dirty hands or something, and this is, you know, on the back of your truck, you can come up twice with your knuckle, turn it back off, you know, your hands are clean. That's always such a pain in the ass. I, I know it sounds, you know, uh, petty, I guess you could say, uh, or, or lazy. I don't know if this is right. Is there anything left? No, it just takes it all out. That's cool. That's a really cool feature. No spill. So uh, just washing hands is a pain in the ass out in the middle of nowhere and, and, and you know, you always got to take the jug out. You got to open it up. It gets dirty. You got to go back behind, you know, especially after you're done recovering, you know, a vehicle in the mud or something, which we've done plenty this last year. But being able to just go up and have that, you know, it's like those creature comforts that you get in having a trailer or, uh, you know, a drop in camp or something like that that has the actual kitchen into it. But if you're wanting to be minimal, uh, you know, minimalistic on your stuff, this is probably a really good way to go. Now, I know I, my gripe was making this longer you can always make it longer. I mean, you can pull this off. This isn't glued on um, and you can get a longer one. This is BPA free, it's, uh, it's food grade. So you're gonna wanna get a food grade tube and you can make this probably as long as you want. I think I will definitely probably get like a, probably a four footer, three footer, something like that. So you have that luxury of being able to go a little bit wider if you want to. Uh, I overall think this is a great, great product to have and I can't wait to be able to use it on some things. So let's go over the pros and cons. Pros, it works great. It's a really good idea. Uh, it's modular. So being able to take it off and on, being able to use the magnet system that's on the bottom of this to be basically mount it anywhere. I have screwed with it and being able to mount it on my Khufu drawer system. Uh, it mounts onto my bumper. I'm sure there's a ton of other places I can put it, uh, especially once I get the camper set up into uh, the Gaia system, which is coming soon. That's gonna be really fun to play with. Um, so I'm gonna want a kitchen on the inside if I possibly can. Uh, so not having to leave the truck at night to be able to wash my hands or something would be nice. But, uh, you know, and to be able to make coffee in the morning, I can just, you know, set up my French press, pour this on, put it on the burner and, you know, away we go. Uh, I like that it's BPA free and food grade, especially, you know, with health reasons and, and for kids. Uh, I love the straps. The straps are awesome. It makes it for easy for carrying, they're adjustable. I like that I can use this as a pour spout or just, you know, be able to take that thing and have it open to be able to pour everything out. It's easier to clean. And then uh, also having that extra little, you know, insert in there to be able to use it as just a pour jug is great. Uh, more positives, uh, you know, it's got the carrying case. The battery lasts a long time. Now, I bought this months ago. I'm, I'm talking, I probably bought this in September. Um, it's now February of the following year. And 
I charged it once and it hasn't died in negative temps. So it holds an awesome charge. Obviously, I don't know how much of a charge until I plug it in. Maybe, it, I don't know if it really gives you an indicator or anything like that. I don't think it does. I like that it has a light so you can see what's going on, especially in the dark. And then it has multiple mounting options and that's pretty cool. Uh, I'll probably wanna get some more of these in case I wanna move them around, I guess, or, you know, I guess once you're one, it's done, right? Um, you don't wanna move it after that. But I'll have two spots where I can put those. I think the first one, a lot of people have been putting it up on here and that's the way I saw it at the expo. Um, personally, I don't know if I want that. And to each their own. Now, negatives. I think it's too expensive. It's, uh, you know, you're looking at, you know, you've got 170. So I think it should be sub 150. And I know I'm griping about 20 bucks, but 20 bucks is 20 bucks, as they say. <laughs> um, but for what you're getting, I think maybe if the jug was bigger, it, it would justify that, you know, close to 200 range. Um, and, and, and again, you know, we're probably grasping at straws on that one. Um, everything's more expensive right now because of, of, you know, chains and every, you know, just getting stuff. So this one, uh, you know, coming in at 170 could be a little on the expensive side. I didn't like the fact that the charging is a US, uh, it's a micro USB-C. Um, I would like it to be USB, or sorry, it's a micro USB. I would like it to be micro USB-C, um, just because everything else is now even, I mean, my iPhone now is, is it's USB-C. So another con is that this hose isn't long enough, but it's fixable, but that's again, more money. I think if they offered a longer hose out of the gate and then maybe an, or, or, or even another option to be able to, to buy it. But I think at 170, I don't know what their margins and everything are like, but it would be nicer to have that option for a longer hose uh, at the 170 mark, uh, maybe making it five bucks cheaper for the uh, smaller one. So uh, with that being said, I dig it. I think it's great. Uh, unfortunately, they don't do discounts, so we can't offer you any discounts, but we hope it's been informative on it. And, uh, you know, keep watching back on our videos. I think the next one, you're going to be able to see this thing in action, along with hopefully by then our new kitchen setup. So anyways, uh, there are some other discounts down into the description for some other great stuff with our partners. And thank you for joining us here on The Basement. See you next time.